Hey guys, so I've been asked uh, several times on how I can uh, put the settings on my phone to take pictures with the Galaxy Note 5 uh, so that they're real color. So this is in the camera app here that just comes with the phone. This is what you would see under auto. You see it's just blued out, not very, uh, not very true to color. So what we want to do is we want to go under mode, go into the pro settings. Now this is my setting, it's already done, but I'm going to show you how to set that up. Normally what you could do, uh, you're going to, you can mess with the different options here. This is your shutter speed and this gives you either more or less light. You got your ISO, again, it's a kind of a digital version of adding more or less light. Your white balance, so you want to make sure that your white balance is up to 10K. 10K is going to be the spectrum that you want to bring it up to because it's going to cancel out a lot of that blue. Um, then you're going to go under tone. Under tone, you're going to see several different options, right? Vivid is very bright color. Serene is a, a very close, uh, but what we're going to do is we want to set up a custom channel just for what the, uh, your, your lights on your tank. You go under tone, and then right, right next to that, that, uh, the options, you'll see this little pencil. That's your edit. So you're going to hit that, and these are the options that there you're going to get. So what we're going to go through here is you're going to adjust these until we get the color that you're seeing. So your temperature all the way from blue to bright red and you're just going to shift that until you get a color that matches the true color. You're going to see that if you go over everything starts looking red or everything starts looking blue. So you kind of want to get to where it's canceling enough of that blue where black is black. That's, that's kind of my... Uh, my way of, of testing it. If what is actually supposed to be black, my, which is my back wall, is black, then I know I'm at the right color. Uh, tint, again, you could use that to kind of, uh, you know, influence one way or the other. Uh, mine's kind of right in the middle because I'm able to do it with, uh, with the color temp. So you just kind of move that bar around so you get what you need. Contrast helps kind of uh, make stuff a little sharper and clearer. That way it's not completely washed out. Again, mine seems to be more in the middle. I go a little bit further just to get a, a little sharper image. Uh, saturation, again, just you, you want to move that until you get it, the, the color that is actually matching your coral uh, without, you know, making it look like, you know, cartoon. So you're going to make it so it looks like it's the actual color. So that's, that's where I'm about at right there. And then uh, highlights, this is the reflective light that's coming out of the objects that have light. So you see it's not brightening up the background, it's brightening up the, for, the, the object. So um, again, you're just, you're just trying to match what you see with your eye uh, versus what's catching with the camera. And then shadows, again, you're, you're lightening or darkening what's already dark. Um, and then, uh, so that's where you sit. Alright, once you have a setting, you go ahead and save it. And now, all your pictures are going to be under that setting and you're going to get the real colors of what you're trying to shoot again you want to touch it to get your uh, your focus and then the coral is going to look like what it's supposed to look like now when I take pictures I I want to make sure that I focus on the object you can actually change once you focus on it if it's too bright depending on how you're at with the lights you can then adjust lighting you know with your with your shutter so you can see a lot you see that you get a nice good shot of that that hammer with the nice green tips reflecting so now once you have those setting on the colors all you gotta do is adjust how much light you're allowing in when you're taking these pictures with your shutter whether you need it to be a little brighter a little darker so it's not overexposed and you just adjust that way, keeping the 10, that 10,000 uh, K uh, spectrum. And that's it, guys. And then you can you know, adjust it again, adjust it to the colors in your tank until you see the true colors. Uh, and, uh, and then you'll be able to take some, some good pictures. Uh, please let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.